everybody it's Michelle and today I've got another fun punch art project for you we're gonna be doing a ladybug I thought that would be so cute for springtime so what I've got here is some circles that I cut out with just some unbranded dies that I got on eBay and I will put the links to those in the description for you but you can use the dies or punches or whatever you have and I just cut a two inch circle from red and that's that red textured polka dot paper that I got recently at Joanne on my anniversary craft haul. So you should still be able to find this at Joanne's and I thought with those spots that would be cute for a ladybug. We are going to add some black spots but the red spots are just going to add a little something to I think it'll be really cute. So I've got a two inch circle in the red, a two inch circle in black, and then a one inch circle in black. And I've got some black rhinestones and we're just going to use these for the eyes. And I've got a scrap of my black cardstock and we're going to punch out some spots. We'll go ahead and do that and I'm going to be using just a regular hole punch which is a quarter of an inch and I'm going to punch out a few of those as well as some 3 sixteenths with my crocodile. And you can do as few or as many as you want. It's up to you. You don't even have to do a spotted ladybug if you don't want to. And I'm doing some of the 3 sixteenths just to get a little bit of variation. And they're kind of flying everywhere. We'll gather them up. Okay, now you can see the 3 sixteenths kind of curled up on me, but we'll flatten those back out and they'll, they'll glue down just fine. Okay, now what I'm going to do is take my two two inch circles and put those together and I want to offset them just a little bit. Just a little. And then I'm going to trim off that difference there. Or you can run this back through your die cutting machine and do the double die cutting technique and just clip that edge off of it there. Or if you're using punches, just double punch it just a little bit. And I didn't get it super smooth, but that's okay. That'll be the part that we glue underneath and you'll never see it. We'll use it so that we see our die cut edge that's nice and smooth. And now I'm going to take my red one and I'm going to cut that right in half. And it's about two inches so I'm going to lay this on my grid on my mat here just to kind of get an idea of where center is. I'm going to mark that with my thumbnail. And then I'm just going to cut straight up the middle. And that's going to be our ladybug wings. So now I'm going to use some of my glue dots. And I'm just going to put one at the top of my ladybug. There on my edge that I trimmed. And then I'm just going to put that on there. A little bit offset so that it looks like the wings are opened. Same thing on the other one. And you can see that black circle being just a little bit smaller, I think looks right for the body of the ladybug. And then another glue dot. Right at the top on the back. And then we can use that to put the head on behind there. 
and just scoot it down so that you only see about half or maybe a little less and that already looks like a ladybug I think that's so cute and now I'm just going to put some glue dots randomly where I want the spots to be and I'm using my art glitter glue And just place those with my quick stick tool just sort of randomly some of the quarter inch and some of the three sixteenths and the last thing we need is two little black jewels for eyes on our ladybug and they are black on black they don't stand out much but that's true on real ladybugs so I think it looks nice that way maybe a few less spots next time I think I got a little carried away with the spots but you can personalize that any way you want and use as few or as many as you want on your ladybug and it's just that simple to create a punch art ladybug. So you guys be sure to leave a comment below and let me know what you think of my punch art ladybug. I'm having so much fun with punch art. I can't wait to do more. So if you've got any ideas of other punch art that you would like to see me try, leave a comment and I'll see what I can do. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like over on my Facebook page. And be sure to join our Facebook group, Crafty Minds. I'd love to see your punch art creations over there too. Also follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. And don't forget to visit my blog. I'll put the links to all of those in the description below, so be sure and check those out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.